Hello everyone, welcome back to Knit Crow Addict Channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to crochet a bead stitch sweater here. I have free written pattern for sizes extra small. Go up to double XL. It's available on our blog at knitcrowaddict.com. And if you prefer the PDF pinnable version, it's available for purchase on our Etsy, Ravelry, and Love Crafts. I'm gonna put all the links in the description below. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna show you in size small, and I also wearing size small in this picture here. Okay, and this crochet sweater pattern is fairly fun and pretty easy to make. I love it so much, and I'm super excited to share with you. Number one thing I love about this design is the cuff detail here. Here is the closer look. I think it's very cool. And yeah, I hope you enjoy and let's get started. For this project, you will need number four medium weight yarn. And I use Lime Brand Jean Yarn. This is number four medium weight yarn. In each ball is have 246 yards and for size small I use about 960 yards and this is 100% acrylic this feel very nice I love this yarn I use it many times <laughs> and yeah I use in uh, color vintage if you want to substitute yarn you can do that as well just look for number four medium weight yarn and check the gate before you start it's very important okay and I use two sizes of crochet hook I use five millimeter crochet hook and six millimeter crochet hook you will need scissors yarn needle and four stitch markers before we start I just want to talk about this pattern a little bit for this sweater pattern we're gonna make in four separate pieces and sew them together the back and the front panel are made the same and these two sleeves are made the same all right and I use bead stitch for that bead stitch and double crochet stitch for that which I'm gonna show you later so two body panel make the same and in the sleeve all right two sleeve make the same and after we have four pieces we will lay them like this and we will sew the shoulder seam here and then sew the sleeve into the main panel here and after that we fold the sweater in half at the shoulder seam like this okay we're gonna start sew the side seam all the way up till we reach the armpit and then we're gonna continue sew the sleeve all the way down to the end here and then weave all the end and we done it's very easy and let's talk about the measurement for the measurement it's just for size small okay this tutorial just for size small just check your size on the free written pattern so yeah the width across back it is about 21.66 inches width across and in the length it is about 19.83 inches long all right i think i got everything here let's get started okay we're gonna make the body panel first so the back and the front panels are made the same I already made one panel here and I want to show you so we're gonna work from the bottom up we're gonna make the ribbing first so for the ribbing we're gonna chain this way okay just this part only and then we're gonna crochet back and forth this way and the row that we make gonna be the width of the body panel and then when we're done with the ribbing, we're gonna crochet the body part this way, okay? And the row that we make is gonna be the length of the sweater. And here is the shoulder, here is the shoulder, and this is gonna be the neck area here. All right, let's get started. I use six millimeter crochet hook make a slip knot and then make 11 chain loosely one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And row one. Make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook here. Skip the first chain. Okay? So I insert the hook into that second chain from the hook. But I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that. Totally up to you. So I insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. This is a single crochet. And then we're gonna make one single crochet into each chain across. So single crochet into the next chain here. Again, I insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. And yarn over, pull up a loop, two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Repeat that into each chain across. I'm at the end of row one here. I have a total of 10 single crochet stitches across. And for row two, chain one and turn. And then make one single crochet into each stitch across. The chain one doesn't count as a stitch, okay? After I chain one and turn, I insert the hook into the first stitch and make a single crochet. Single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch all right repeat that across i'm at the end of row two i have the same 10 single crochet stitches across and now row three to row 65 i'm gonna repeat row two every size is, is different just check your side okay i show you a little bit on row three here so chain one and turn, just repeat row two. Make one single crochet into each stitch across. Easy peasy. I'm at the end of row three here and I have the same. 10 single crochet stitches across because I'm not increase or decrease. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row two until I have 65 rows and I will be back. Good luck. Okay, now I have 65 rows here. This is the end of row 65. And next, we're gonna start crochet the body. And to do that, you need to turn your ribbon sideways like this. Okay, and then we're gonna crochet into the end of each row of the ribbon part but don't cut the yarn okay we're gonna use the same yarn so row one of the body part we're gonna chain three the first three chains always count as one double crochet and like i said we're gonna crochet into the end of each row of the ribbon and i call that space instead so i'm gonna make one double crochet into each space across I'm gonna make double crochet into the next space here. Okay, and then double crochet into the next space. Yarn over hook, insert the hook into the next space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Double crochet into the next space. Yarn over, insert the hook into the next space. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Like that. Next space, make double crochet in there. Double crochet into the next space. And double crochet into the next space. Here's what it looks like so far. I'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each space across. And at the end of row one of the body part, I should have 65 stitches across because I have 65 rows of the ribbing part. All right. I'm at the end of row one here and I have a total of 65 stitches across. 
includes the first three chain as well okay and i forget to tell you row one is the wrong side for an odd number row gonna be the wrong side all right so row two we're gonna chain three one two and three the first three chains always count as one double crochet and turn or you can turn first and chain doesn't matter and then we're gonna make a bead stitch into the next stitch for the bead stitch you're gonna start with double crochet first so a yarn over hook insert the hook into the next stitch there yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops that is the double crochet and now we're gonna yarn over hook insert the hook behind that double crochet post that we just did yarn over hook insert the hook behind double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop we're gonna do that three times into the same double crochet post this is the first time okay so yarn over hook insert the hook behind the same double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop this is the second time yarn over insert the hook behind the same double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop this is the third time and i have seven loops on my hook i'm gonna yarn over and pull through the first six loops yarn over hook pull through the first six loops like that and then yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook this is how as one bead stitch okay so next skip the next stitch make bead stitch into the next again the bead stitch start with double crochet first and then yarn over hook insert the hook behind the double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop do that three times here yeah, the first time yarn over insert the hook behind the same double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop this is the second time yarn over insert the hook behind the same double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop this is the third time and i have seven loops on my hook gonna yarn over hook pull through the first six loops like that and then yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook so far we have two bead stitches i'm gonna show you a couple more times don't worry so we're gonna repeat that we're gonna skip the next stitch make bead stitch into the next So start with double crochet and then yarn over hook insert the hook behind the double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop three times this is the first time second time and this is the third time and i have seven loops on my hook i'm gonna yarn over hook and pull through the first six loops this part can be a little difficult you just need to you know practice Here's what I like to do. I like to use my thumb and my middle finger hold all the loops right here at the bottom here. Not too hard. Just gentle. Okay? And then when I yarn over hook, I like to turn the tip of the hook down. Okay? That way it's help me control the loops on the hook. So after that, I'm gonna pull through the first six loops. Like that. And then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. Alright, I'll show you one more time. We're gonna repeat that. Skip the next stitch, make bead stitch into the next. Start with double crochet. And yarn over, insert the hook behind, double crochet post, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the first time. This is the second time. This is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook. See, I hold it right here and then I yarn over hook, turn the tip of the hook down and then pull through the first six loops like that. And then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. Okay, so far I have four bead stitches. You're gonna keep repeating this. Next, you're gonna skip the next stitch, make bead stitch into the next repeat that across skip next stitch make bead stitch into the next keep repeating that until you have one stitch left and i will be back okay now i have one stitch left 
at the end of row 2 which is the third chain okay and then next I'm gonna make one double crochet into that third chain which is the last stitch yarn over insert the hook into the last stitch there right into the third chain yarn over pull up a loop and make a double crochet like that here's what it look like at the end of row 2 and I have a total of 32 bead stitches across and for row 3 we're gonna chain 3 always count as one double crochet and turn and then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch until we have two stitches left at the end so make one double crochet into the next stitch here double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch all right i'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each stitch until i have two stitches left at the end of row three and i will be back okay now i have two stitches left at the end of row three here so i have next stitch here and then the last stitch the last stitch always gonna be the third chain because the first three chains always count as one double crochet okay so next i'm gonna skip the next stitch and then make one double crochet into the last stitch right into the third chain there this is how the bead stitch works you have to skip one stitch otherwise you cannot increase one stitch okay so at the end of row three i have a total of 65 stitches across so for row four we're gonna chain three and turn and then make one double crochet into each stitch across Okay, I'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each stitch across and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 4. I'm at the end of row 4 here. I have the same 65 stitches across and don't forget to make the last double crochet into the third chain, okay? So yeah, row 5, we're gonna repeat row 4. We chain 3 and turn and then make one double crochet into each stitch across easy peasy all right i will be back when i'm at the end of row five i'm at the end of row five here and i have the same 65 stitches across and here is the pattern row repeat row two to row five that is the pattern row repeat so i gonna repeat row two to row five five more times and i gonna have a total of 25 rows total start out from row one here okay so i gonna show you in this piece here so see here this bead stitch row that is row two okay row two row three row four row five and then after that you're gonna repeat row two to row five so see i repeat the b stitch here row two three four and five like that and then repeat the same repeat row two row three row four row five like that two to five two to five and two to five like that okay if you cannot remember you always can rewind the video and I'm gonna show you a little bit on row 6 so for row 6 we're gonna start repeat row 2 which is the bead stitch row so chain 3 and turn 
and then we're gonna make a bead stitch into the next stitch for the bead stitch we start with double crochet first so I make double crochet into the next stitch and then yarn over hook insert the hook behind the double crochet post yarn over hook upper loop do that three times this is the first time this is the second time this one is the third time and then I have seven loops on my hook I yarn over hook and pull through the first six loops and then yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook like that and then skip the next stitch make bead stitch into the next start with double crochet and then yarn over hook insert the hook behind the double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop do that three times this is the first time here is the second time and this is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook yarn over hook pull through the first six loops and then yarn over pull through all the loops on the hook like that okay you can now repeat that across just repeat row two okay I'm gonna keep repeating row two to row five five more times and I will have a total of 25 rows total start count from row one here okay and I will be back good luck and take your time okay now I'm at the end of row 25 here here's what it looks like pretty big all right and then for row 26 it's gonna be the final row we're gonna make the uh, shoulder I'm gonna show you here we're gonna make this shoulder and then we're gonna make this shoulder okay we're gonna skip some stitches here don't worry I'll show you okay this is the end of row 25 and for row 26 we chain three always count as one double crochet and turn and then make one double crochet into each of next 21 stitches includes the first three chain it'll be 22 stitches so i make double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch and double crochet into the next all right i gotta keep doing that until i have 22 stitches total includes the first three chains okay i have 22 stitches here enclose the first three chain okay and next cut the yarn you don't need to leave a long tail on this side just leave a little bit of tail just enough to weaving the end later and pull the yarn out and then we're gonna skip 21 stitches at the middle here for the neck area so this is the first stitch here's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty and twenty one okay skip twenty one stitches and then into the next stitch add a new yarn there so i insert the hook there and then bring the new yarn hold it on the back and then yarn over pull up a loop and then chain three you can use any method you prefer for adding the new yarn and then the first three chains always count as one double crochet and we're gonna make one double crochet into the next stitch and then into each stitch across you should have 22 stitches on this side as well because this side you have 22 stitches again this is just for size small every size is, is different just check your side so I'm gonna make double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next stitch double crochet into the next all right I'm gonna keep making double crochet into each stitch across okay the last stitch is the third chain always all right here's what it looks like and then we're just gonna cut the yarn for this side for this shoulder we're gonna leave a long tail 
I leave a long tail about 12 to 14 inches long. We're gonna use this tail to sew the shoulder seam later. Okay, the back and the front panel. And then pull the yarn out like that. Yay, we're done with the body panel. And two panels make exactly the same. Leave a long tail on this shoulder exactly the same. Okay, everything the same. Here's what it looks like. So, since I have two panels already, the body panel, next I'm gonna show you how to make the sleeve panel. Okay, for the sleeve panel, we're gonna make two exactly the same. And we're gonna make the chain this way. We're gonna crochet the cuff first, okay? We make the chain this way and then crochet this way for the cuff. And then the row that we make is gonna be the circumference of the cuff. And then when we're done, we're gonna crochet the uh, sleeve this way. And then the row that we make is gonna be the length of the sleeve. And at the end, we leave a long tail for sewing the sleeve into the main panel, okay? So this pattern is the same as the body panel. Very easy. All right, let's get started. Okay, for the cuff, we're going to use 5 millimeter crochet hook, okay? First, make slip knot and then make 21 chain loosely. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, I have 21 chain here. Row 1, we're gonna make one single crochet into the second chain from the hook. Again, I like to insert into the little bump on the back of the chain. You don't have to do that, totally up to you. So, insert the hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through those two loops. That is the first single crochet. And then single crochet into the next chain, Insert the hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay? Just keep making one single crochet into each chain across. I'm at the end of row one here, and I have a total of 20 single crochet stitches across. Row two, chain one and turn. The chain one never count at a stitch. And make one single crochet in each stitch across. Single crochet into the first stitch. Single crochet into the next stitch. Single crochet into the next. Okay, I'm gonna keep making one single crochet into each stitch across. And I will be back when I'm at the end of row two. I'm at the end of row 2 here and I have the same 20 single crochet stitches across because we not increase or decrease. And for row 3 to row 35, I'm gonna repeat row 2. Okay, I show you a little bit on row 3. So we chain 1 and turn, just repeat row 2. Make 1 single crochet into each stitch across. Very easy. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row two until I have 35 rows total and I will be back. Okay, now I have 35 rows of the cuff here. This is the end of row 35. And now we're gonna make the sleeve part. And to do that, I want you to turn the cuff sideways like this. Okay, and then we're gonna chain the hook side from five millimeter hook to six millimeter hook. Okay, so I take this out and insert the six millimeter hook in there. And then row one of the sleeve is gonna be the wrong side for an odd number row gonna be the wrong side. So chain three, always count as one double crochet. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into the end of each row and I call that space instead that easier to understand so this one is 
the same as the body panel. Okay, I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna make one double crochet into the next space here, which is the end of next row. And then double crochet into the next space here, which is the end of next row. And then double crochet into the next space here. And then double crochet into the next space here. Double crochet into the next space. And double crochet into the next space. Alright, I'm gonna keep making one double crochet into each space across at the end of row one. I should have a total of 35 stitches because I have 35 rows of my cuff. Alright, I will be back when I'm at the end of row one. I'm at the end of row one here and I have a total of 35 stitches across includes the first three chain as well. Okay, and for row two, we chain three, always count as one double crochet and turn. And then we're gonna make a bead stitch into the next stitch. So for the bead stitch, we start with double crochet first, remember? So I yarn over my hook, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, and make a double crochet. And then yarn over hook, insert the hook behind the double crochet post, yarn over, pull up a loop, do that three times. This is the first time. Yarn over, insert the hook behind the same double crochet post, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the second time. Yarn over, insert the hook behind the same double crochet post, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over hook, pull through the first six loops. And then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. This is the bead stitch. If you make the uh, body panels already, for sure you know how to make the sleep panel because it's the same uh, same pattern but just make less stitches okay so next skip the next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next for the bead stitch again we start with double crochet and then yarn over hook insert the hook behind double crochet post yarn over pull up a loop this is the first time second time this is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through the first six loops. And then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. Repeat that, skip the next stitch, make bead stitch into the next. So make a double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook behind, double crochet pose. Here's the first time. Here's the second time. And this is the third time and I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through the first six loops. Yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. This is the third bead stitch. I show you one more time. So skip the next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next. Start with double crochet. Yarn over, insert the hook behind, double crochet pose. Yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the first time, yarn over, insert the hook behind, double crochet pose, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the second time, yarn over, insert the hook behind, the same double crochet pose, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the third time, and I have seven loops on my hook. Yarn over and pull through the first six loops. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. Alright, so far we have four bead stitches. You're gonna keep repeating this. So next, you're going to skip the next stitch and then make bead stitch into the next. Repeat that, skip next stitch, make bead stitch into the next. You're going to keep repeating that until you have one stitch left at the end of row 2 and I will be back. Okay, now I have one stitch left at the end of row 2 here, which is the third chain, okay? And now we're going to make one double crochet into the last stitch, right into that third chain. So insert the hook into that third chain and make the last double crochet, like that. 
at the end of row 2, I have a total of 17 bead stitches. And for row 3, we chain 3. Always count as one double crochet and turn. And then make one double crochet into each stitch until you have two stitches left. So double crochet into the next stitch here. Double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet into the next stitch. And double crochet into the next stitch. Alright, I can keep making one double crochet into each stitch until I have two stitches left at the end of row three. And I will be back. Okay, now I have two stitches left at the end of row three here. I have the next stitch here and then the last stitch. The last stitch always gonna be the third chain, okay? So next, I'm gonna skip the next stitch and then make the last double crochet into the last stitch, right at the third chain there. Again, this is how the bead stitch works. You have to skip one stitch, otherwise you're gonna increase one stitch, all right? Like I said, if you make the body panel already, you know how to make the sleeve panel. It's the same pattern, but just make less stitches. That's all. All right. At the end of row three, I have a total of 35 stitches across. So for row four, we chain three. And turn. Chain three always counts as one double crochet. And then we're gonna make one double crochet into each stitch across. All right, I'll be back when I'm at the end of row four. I'm at the end of row four here and I have the same, 35 stitches across. And for row five, we're gonna repeat row four. We chain three and turn and then make one double crochet into each stitch across all right i'll be back when i'm at the end of row five i'm at the end of row five here and i have the same 35 stitches across and from now on you're just gonna keep repeating row 2 to row 5 over and over so I'm gonna keep repeating row 2 to row 5 four more times and I will have a total of 21 rows okay start count from row 1 and now if you want a shorter or longer sleeve you can do that as well just repeat row two to row five all right okay so for row six i'm gonna start repeat row two which is the bead stitch row i'm gonna show you a little bit so we chain three just repeat row two okay and turn and then make a bead stitch into the next stitch for the bead stitch we start with double crochet and then yarn over hook insert the hook behind Double crochet pose, yarn over, pull up a loop, do that three times. So this is the first time, yarn over, insert the hook behind, double crochet pose, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the second time, and then yarn over hook, insert the hook behind the double crochet pose, yarn over, pull up a loop. This is the third time, and I have seven loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through the first six loops, and then yarn over, pull through all the loops on the hook. And then skip the next stitch, make bead stitch into the next. Start with double crochet, and then yarn over hook, insert the hook behind, double crochet pose, yarn over pull up a loop, do that three times. This is the first time, second time, this is the third time. And I have seven loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through the first six loops. Yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook, like that. And then you're just gonna repeat that across. Just repeat row two, really easy. All right, I'm gonna keep repeating row two 
to row 5 four more times and I will have a total of 21 rows start count from row 1 okay and I will be back when I'm at the end of row 21 good luck okay I'm at the end of row 21 here and next you just need to cut the yarn I cut the yarn and leave a tail about 30 inches long make sure that you have enough tail to sew the sleeve into the main panel okay so after I cut the yarn, leave a long tail, I pull the yarn out and I'm done with the sleeve. Here's what it looks like. This is the cuff. This is the sleeve part. And you need one more of this exactly the same. Leave a long tail exactly the same. So I already have two sleeve panels and two body panels. And next, I'm going to show you how to sew all the pieces together. Okay, next. We're gonna sew the back and the front panel together at the shoulder seam. And it doesn't matter which panel you choose to be the front panel or the back panel because they are the same. So I already went ahead and sew one shoulder here. And before you sew, make sure to place the wrong side facing up, right side facing down. We're gonna sew on the wrong side and we're gonna use the tail that we left earlier to sew. Just in case, uh, if you're not sure what's going on, I'm going to show you in this paper here real quick. So let's say this is the uh, front panel and this one is the back panel. I place them like this with the wrong side facing up. So this shoulder, I already sewn here. Okay, and I'm going to show you how to sew this shoulder right here. Alright. So I have my tail come from the front panel here. I already insert into my yarn needle and you can use any method you prefer to sew and then I'm gonna insert my needle into the first stitch on the back panel there right into that third chain bring it up and then I'm gonna insert into the same stitch one more time just to lock the yarn So first stitch here and then first stitch there. Bring it up. And then next stitch here and next stitch there. I insert into both loops. Okay. Bring it up. And then insert into the next stitch here and next stitch there. Bring it up. Next stitch here and next stitch there. Bring it up like that. That's what I'm gonna keep sewing. Make sure you don't sew it too tight or too loose. Here's what it's look like so far on the wrong side. All right, I'm gonna keep sewing until I reach the end here. Last stitch here. And last stitch there. And then I'm gonna tie this tail together. I'm gonna tie it a couple times. And then weave the end. gonna trim this tail and then you also gonna hide this end as well and here's what it look like on the wrong side and here's what it look like on the right side so both shoulders sew exactly the same and after this I gonna show you how to sew the sleeve into the main panel okay next we're gonna sew the sleeve into the main panel so I already sew one sleeve here and I'm gonna show you how to sew this sleeve all right so the sleeve see again we're gonna sew on the wrong side make sure all the panel wrong side facing up so I'm gonna turn this side here okay this kind of big 
I'm gonna show you in the paper here real quick. So this is the front panel, this is the back panel. We already saw this shoulder seam, right? So this sleeve panel right here, I already saw the sleeve right here already. So this one, another sleeve, which is this one that I'm going to show you. Here's what it looks like right now. Okay, I will explain how I place this stitch marker here. For my sleeve, I have 35 stitches, right? And then I wanna separate in half. So I have 17 stitches on this side. I have 17 stitches on this side. And then I have one stitch at the middle there. I place that middle stitch right at the uh, shoulder seam here. So that will be nice and even, okay? And then I count the row. The front panel here, I have 10 rows. Start count the row uh, after the shoulder seam. I have 10 rows and I place the stitch marker. Okay, and I'm gonna sew that 10 rows into the 17 stitches here together like that. And I do the same at the back panel. I have 10 rows here and I have 17 stitches here. I'm gonna sew those together. But whatever you do, just make sure it's nice and even. That's all important. And I'm gonna use the long tail that we left earlier to sew. I already insert into my yarn needle here. And you can use any method you prefer. All right, so first I'm gonna remove the stitch marker here and remember that stitch, that row. And then I insert into that stitch like that. And then I'm gonna insert into the same stitch one more time. And I'm gonna sew that sleeve and then the back panel together. For the panel part, the body panel part, it's a little difficult to see the normal stitches because we sew into the end of each row. You just need to, you know, um, go slow and Take your time and make sure I don't sew too tight or too loose. So next stitch I will insert right here and the next stitch on the sleeve panel there. Bring it up and the next stitch here and next stitch there. And the next stitch here and next stitch there. And then next stitch right here, and next stitch there, like that. Okay, here's what it looks like so far. All right, I'm just going to keep sewing. And when you come to the middle stitch here, I'm going to make sure I sew that stitches together, so that way you keep uh, the panels nice and even. All right, I'm going to keep sewing until I reach the end here. Okay, after I reach the end here, I already went ahead and weave the end. And both sides sew exactly the same. I already have both sides sew. Next, I'm gonna show you how to sew the side seam and then the bottom of the sleeve together. So to do that, we're gonna fold the sweater in half with the right side facing each other. We're gonna sew on the wrong side. So this is the right side facing each other. And I'm gonna show you how to sew on this side first. And both sides sew the same and you can use any method you prefer. I'm gonna turn this side so easier to sew and to show you. <laughs> so first, make sure to cut uh, enough tail to sew. So I cut about 70 inches long. So we're gonna start sew the bottom up to the side seam until we reach the armpit. And then we're gonna continue Sew the sleeve part all the way down until we reach the end of the cuff here. I already insert my tail into my yarn needle here. I insert into the first stitch at the bottom of the panel here. I would say this front panel and then insert into the first stitch on the back panel there. Bring it up. Again, make sure to sew on the wrong side. And then I'm gonna insert into the same stitch one more time, just to lock the yarn. I 
and then next stitch here and next stitch there next stitch here and next stitch there make sure don't sew it too tight or too loose check as you go this part is pretty easy because you can see the normal stitches so I'm just gonna insert right here and then right there and then I'm gonna insert right here right here and then right there and then insert right here and then right there like that oops okay and then insert right here and right there make sure it's nice and lining up like this see make sure it's lining up nice and even that's all important all right I'm gonna keep sewing all the way up till I reach the armpit and then I'm gonna continue sew the sleeve all the way down to the end and then at the end I'm gonna weave the end all right and both sides sew the same so I'm gonna sew this side and then sew this side as well and after that I will be back good luck and take your time okay after I have both sides sewn and I weave all the ends already here's what it look like and I also went ahead and turned the right side out so this is the right side beautiful this is the sleeve this is the cuff and that's it congratulations I hope you enjoy making this beautiful sweater if you enjoy making this sweater please give this video a big thumb up and share this video with your friends i would love to see everyone's work if you want to share with me just text me on facebook or instagram at knit crawl addict i'm gonna put all the links in the description below thank you so much for watching i will see you next video bye bye